Hey Aries, it's Goddess Puff, and we're about to find out if your person is going to reach out to you. All right, we're jumping straight into it with an Oracle card message for Aries Spirit. Is Aries person going to reach out to them, Spirit? Last shuffle, is Aries person going to reach out to them? All right, let's see. Let's see, Aries. Spirit already like here, take the card. Oh, keep your temper. Don't allow anger to rule you. All right. Hi, yi, yi. Overall energy, messages for a rabbit. Service to the animal world. So I don't know if you have a pet or feel the need to get one or be out in nature. Both cars have an animal on a cat and a rabbit. So that animals may be significant to you at this time or you should draw close to them, watch some animal planet or something. But let me get your uh, tarot going. Spirit, can Aries expect to hear from this person? Maybe this person has a pet or maybe you share a pet with this person. Can Aries expect communication from their person? Last shuffle, please spirit. Can Aries expect communication from their person? Thank you, spirit. All right, seven of swords. This person is clearly planning to reach out to you. Yep, nine of pentacles. Okay, so this person is single. It, it's the card. You saw how it flipped though? It flipped in reverse when it came out. So this person is planning to make you not single <laughs> with the um seven of wands you may be guarded or protected at this time yeah six of pentacles you want equal give and take maybe in the past you didn't experience that um we have the the higher font taurus a higher commitment in the four of pentacles so someone's withholding I feel like you're withholding Aries with the two of pentacles. You're juggling and trying to decide, or this person may have juggled you in the past. Ooh, I feel like secretly this person is not single. They may be telling you one thing. Maybe that's what you fear. With the seven of swords, that's a that's the card of deception. It doesn't always have to be negative, but I feel like with the keep your temper, you found out that this person is already committed. What this person was hiding from you is that they're not single. And that's why things couldn't go to the next level with this person. There wasn't equal give and take because this person's already committed. This person could be married. So this person was never giving you their all because they were already taken and that could have caused this anger. Let's clarify this and see. Please clarify this for my Aries. Please, Spirit. Last shuffle. Clarify this message for my Aries. So clarify, oh, clarifying the seven of swords is the five of swords. Yeah, there's nothing good about this person. They're a deceptive, a liar, a cheater, and then they want to win at all costs and be in control and cause conflict and drama and shady behavior. And then the Eight of Wands. Yeah, they're coming in lying to you and trying to start drama. And this person may want to claim to want to live with you or they may be they may tell you about a marriage or be lying about a marriage in their living situation clarifying the nine of pentacles in reverse is a seven of wands seven of wands is here twice you are protected and divinely guided from this person they are not single and then judgment card you're going to call judgment on the ass Clarifying the Seven of Wands is the world card, a major completion of a cycle. You no longer need to be guarded and fighting and defending yourself from this person because it's done. You've closed the cycle. And with the Nine of Pentacles here, you are single. So a lot of you could be walking away from a marriage or high commitment with this person because you no longer want to deal with the toxicity. Clarifying the um, Six of Pentacles is the Five of Cups. Past disappointments about an imbalance. Because of a player, Knight of Wands, in and out energy, back and forth energy. Player, you were dealing with a player, whether they're male or female. Clarifying the Hierophant is the Death card, Scorpio, and the Magician. That's Libra, Virgo, and Gemini. 
So someone here is making a higher commitment to their own spirituality and manifestation abilities because you want a higher commitment that is meant for you. So will this person reach out? Yes, but they coming back on that same old bullshit and they coming back telling you the truth about them being married. They're, I feel like they're going to come back and tell you the truth about themselves. You are going to hear from them, Aries. Clarifying the four of presence because I feel like you're going to withhold your energy. This person wants a new cycle with you. They are a karmic, okay? They want a new karmic cycle with you with the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Swords. You're blocking them. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. You either have them blocked already or you will block them. And we have four fours here. The overall energy is the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Four, four, four. So that's just very significant to someone here. Yeah, this person was definitely a player. I don't know if they're a Taurus, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Virgo. This person definitely juggled or you found out they were or they are married or living with someone. There's something about this commitment is very imbalanced. You were giving your all and they weren't and you found out about it and I can, I can see why that would make you angry. All right, so let me get your final oracle card message for my Aries. Spirit, final oracle card message for my Aries. Please, Spirit, last shuffle, final oracle card message for Aries. Please, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> okay, we have Flower, be honest with yourself, number 17. And then we have Evil Queen. You deserve sugar, not salt. Overall energy is dragon. Slay them all. Number six. So you see this person for who they are and what they are. Toxic. And you about to dead this situation. All right. I send you all peace, blessings, and love. Aries. Namaste.